Alright, so this is how you do the uh, hammer boost in 6-2. Uh, so, for starters, this isn't a very easy trick. It's not very hard. It's not anything crazy like the jumps in World 3 that are like maybe frame perfect. Um, but it is decently hard. It does save a few minutes. Um, but if you're a beginner, you shouldn't be really worried about all the skips. You should be more worried about honestly everything else but i'm just gonna record a tutorial for this because i don't think there's one out there um so for starters what you need to know is i'll, I'll try to do it here uh try to demonstrate it oh, i missed it okay so i got it there so as you can see the general idea is to uh Oh no, that's not good. Okay. The general idea is to get hit by the hammer and boost over the gap. So, before I actually... The first thing I want to actually explain is how to jump off this block, actually. Because it's not exactly obvious. Um, but what you want to do is you want to be as far to the bottom of this block as you can be. Um, it's not precise. Like It's not like you're going to you know, fall off a lot. It's pretty lenient, but you want to try to be close to the bottom of this block, like around here-ish, um, when you jump. And you also, when you jump, you want to be as far to the right as you can um, on this uh, block. I'll try to demonstrate that when he throws af after he throws his next hammer. Like, you want to jump from the very edge of the block. Oh. So yeah, that's what you want to know about jumping off the block. I, I want to explain that first before I go into it. So know that you A, want to try to be as far south as possible, and B, you want to jump as late as possible off the block. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not too precise. You can jump pretty early and still make it, and you can also be pretty far north and still make it, but your goal is to be as close to the edge as possible, and also as far down south as possible. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is uh, come down here and get the Hammer Bros attention. You should only be getting the attention of the top guy. The bottom guy shouldn't be throwing anything at you. And then once you have his attention, you want to stand in position. So the best way of doing that is to jump on this edge right here. Where I am. And then what you want to do is if you look to my left, there is this little pillar. Uh, I'll stand north of it right here. This pillar right here. What you want to do is you want to get pushed by this pillar north. So you want to basically jump into this pillar I'm standing against from the right. And if you do it right, Mario will get pushed north. And you'll know you got it. Here, I'll show you how you know you got it. If you stand right here against this wall, and this hammer is bouncing off the pillar like this. This is what you want. So now, you know when to jump off the block, the very south part, as late as you can. And you also know how to get him to throw the hammer the right way. The last important thing is knowing when to go. So what I do is I wait a little bit after he throws it. Like after it's in the air, like uh, there roughly there um i don't have a visual cue it's more of like a feeling based thing um and then once he does that i hold down and then once i'm at the right z like as far close to the very south edge of the block i hold right and i jump at the very edge and i'll try to demonstrate that right here there and then you just run uh okay well this is not how this is supposed to go this might be an issue actually all right well that guy's dead that's not that good let me see if I can respawn him. Okay, I can. So yeah, uh, I'll try to show you how to be go too early. Okay, this guy needs to stop throwing stuff at me, man. I hate this guy. Okay, so I, I went too early. If you go too early, that'll likely happen. Um, if you're too far north on the block... You'll probably just get smacked like that. Because the reason you need to be far south is the hammer, when it hits the wall, it's not bouncing like directly to the right. It's also moving a little bit south. Which means if you're too far north on the block, you're going to run into it while it's moving down. That's why you want to be south. So you collide with it as far when like as late as possible, basically. Because the hammer isn't moving straight to the right. As you can tell from the shadow, it's moving a tiny bit down. And that tiny down movement is why we need to have... Uh, be standing at the bottom of the block so if you go too late oh i actually made it there so that was actually that, that just shows you how late you can go 
That was way too late. As you can see, I just jumped right over it. You can go pretty late. That was too late again. Uh, you can also jump off the block a little earlier to account for it, but... Like, like if you jump off the block a little north, like, further north and earlier, you can actually make it if you go later than you should. Like, you can back it up, but it's way easier just to wait until a little bit after he throws it and then go, like how I told you, as far, th as far south as possible and as late as possible. Okay, so that time, I think I was in a bad position. I'm not exactly sure what happened. There. Um, I actually think I might have uh, jumped off the block late there. So yeah, um, basically, recap one more time. Oh, this guy's going to throw stuff at me. Alright, so you, you, wait, you stand against this, so this guy throws hammers at you. Jump up here. Uh, get pushed by this wall. You have to do that fast, or else he's going to hit you with the hammer. And then you'll know you got it, because he's throwing the hammer like this. If he's not throwing the hammer like this... Here, I'll demonstrate that. Uh, like, an example, if you're like... If he if he, if he if he throws it through the pillar and it hits you, um, he'll throw it he'll throw two, then he'll stop. Um, that means you didn't push up against the pillar and you're too far... Uh, you're likely too far north. This should be good. It might be too far north, actually. Okay, it's good. And there, I... believe I went too late, but I'm not exactly sure. It's pretty hard to troubleshoot this. Like, that was definitely too late. Um, I, I also, like, I think one thing that I'm doing is... I'm also holding down right um, for a little bit when I'm on the block. Um, that way I get there faster. Um, I'm not sure how precise that is. Like, there's, there's so many ways you could do this. Um, like, you can jump off the block further north, maybe, and make it work. You can jump off the block, you know from earlier and make it work, although that's probably not going to work because you're just going to get less distance. But you also would, um, like, your, the trajectory of your jump would be a little different, so that could also work. You can wait on the block for a little bit after he throws it. You can do, uh, like, you can go left and then right to delay right after he throws it and make that work. Um, basically, this is just how I do it. Um, the, the general premise is to make sure he's throwing the hammer. Like I said, um, I'll show that one more time just because while I'm talking about it. Make sure he's throwing the hammer like this. Oh, never mind. I was too far north, I'm pretty sure. Like th this should be good. Like that. Make sure he's throwing the hammer like this. This is the only this is the most important part. And then from here on out, it's kinda up to you, but like I said, I wait until a little bit after he throws it, and then I try to head to the south part of the block and jump from as late as possible. One more time, I'll do it. Like that. And then make sure you you you, you don't get stuck in him like that, like I did again. And then yeah, just, if you get stuck on him like that, you can just hold down and avoid him. But if you encounter him, you can just run away. But yeah, and then you come up here, and then you do the rest of the level like normal. So, yeah. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any problems, either DM me on Discord at Saria underscore 100. Join the Sticker Star Discord, um, speedrun.com slash SS. Uh, or, yeah, and that, that's like the basic two ways. Or you can comment on this video, which I'll surely be uploading as a public video on YouTube. So yeah, I hope this helps anybody having trouble with this. I might make other Secret Star tutorials if people want it because, you know, I there's not that many resources out there for learning these tricks. And as a world record holder, I feel like, you know, I, I could definitely help and make good tutorials that like, you know, because that's how I do them in my PB. So yeah, if anybody has any questions, reach out. And if anybody wants other tutorials, I'll gladly make them. I haven't played the game in a bit, so I might be a little rusty, but this trick is one of the hardest ones in the game. And I, I basically spent two minutes refreshing myself on how to get it and how to get it so yeah thanks and that's all this video is already nine minutes long and that's kind of long so thanks and yeah all that stuff I already said goodbye